This is the gentleman from Pennsylvania seek recognition. Madam Speaker, I rise to claim time in opposition to the amendment. The gentleman is recognized. Uh, Madam Speaker, um, U.S. troops are in Syria to fight ISIS. Uh, pursuant to the 2001 counterterrorism, AUMF, for years we have worked with partners on the ground to eliminate the deadly and destabilizing threat of ISIS. This mission has been, in Syria, extremely successful. The job, however, is nowhere near done. Just this week, our military succeeded in eliminating the leader of ISIS in Syria. This comes after the capture of a top ISIS leader and bomb maker in northwest Syria last month. According to the U.S. Central Command, the re and I quote, the removal of these ISIS leaders will disrupt the terrorist organization's ability to further plot and carry out attacks. Our continued presence on the ground is necessary to ensure the enduring defeat of ISIS. Such a, a short-sighted amendment would prematurely cut short our presence in Syria. Our force in Syria has been extremely effective and part of a global coalition to defeat ISIS. This is not the time for the U.S. to abandon our allies and partners in Syria. We've seen what occurs when such actions are taken. None of us want our soldiers, American soldiers, men and women, overseas longer than absolutely necessary. None of us believe that the 2001 AUMF, or many of us, excuse me, believe that the AUMF of 2001 must be updated and replaced. But forcing a withdrawal too soon virtually ensures we will have to return. And such a plan undermines our, such a plan that's outlined in this amendment undermines our military position. We saw it in Iraq when President Obama withdrew, uh, and U.S. troops had to go back in just a few years later to fight ISIS. We must avoid such a similar situation in Syria. Withdrawal should be based on the defeat of ISIS, not on an artificial timeline. For these reasons, I urge opposition uh, to this amendment, 380. 